Hey, this is Brian Gibbons, and we're putting out some training right now. And this is on how do lease options work? Uh, what is a lease option? Uh, why do lease options work? Uh, what are the benefits to the buyer or the tenant buyer? Uh, what is the lease option benefits to landlords or to fris FISBOs for sale by owners or listed sellers? And what are the benefits for real estate investors? Okay, so that's the first section here. And let's just get started, okay? Now, if you want to find a house to buy and you're a wholesaler, well, you have to spend lots of time and lots of money on marketing. And you need lots of runs to do that. But in lease option, especially lease option assignments and sandwiches, you don't need to do that amount of marketing. Negotiating your price, when you deal with wholesaling, you need to push that seller's price down. Okay? You really got to get it cheap enough so that you can fix it up and sell it retail. Or if you're flipping it to a retail. Now, if you, the nice thing about what we do is we don't have to uh, negotiate very hard with the seller. We can actually offer them an average of three comps. Uh, coming up with cash to buy the house, you know, what can you do there? Um, sometimes you need private money to go buy a, a rehab or a wholesale deal, okay, uh, or transactional funding. Well, we never buy property. What we do is we control it with a lease with an option. All right, we don't buy, we control. Um, and the amount of money that we offer the seller is $10 for the option fee. Making repairs and improvements, you know, you need to <laughs> supervise contractors and do all sorts of things. You know, fixing up the house yourself, if you want to do that and work with a hammer instead of a pen, I, I don't... I don't necessarily think that that's the best way to go. Um, so we don't we don't fix up houses and lease option assignments. Um, what else is a benefit? Well, if you're gonna sell the house using a realtor or selling at FISBO, you know if you use an air realtor, you're gonna have to pay between six and seven percent. Now. When we finish the lease option, we don't use a realtor. We use our own marketing to get buyers. Um, the, the problem with realtors and lease to own or rent to own is they want their 3% and we don't do that. So if you're renting the house, if that was your intention of your landlord, or renting it out temporarily, it won't sell. You got to assume these landlord responsibilities, and you know, being a landlord, I'm sorry, is not the most fun thing in the world because some tenants will really aggravate you. They'll call you at two in the morning with tenant uh, toilets backed up or some kind of minor problem, uh, and then you need to, if you need to evict them, there's costs there. Um, there's lawyers, there's court fees. Now because your tenant buyers are going to be future owners, they're homeowners in training, well these people, they really want to buy your, ha buy your house that you're lease optioning the house to. Now there is some kind of tax benefits if you're a landlord Okay. And I know your accountant will tell you that, but there's tax benefits to lease options too because the option consideration that you receive is tax deferred. So, you know, I, I prefer this simple method because it's the amount of time it takes per unit, $100, you know. Uh, how much money can I make per unit time? And it's not uncommon to make over $100 an hour. 
doing this, taking about, if our average fee on our properties is $5,000, we can make as much as $500 an hour. So, let's talk a little bit about a lease with an option, or a lease option. What is it? A good analogy is leasing a car. Have you ever leased a car? I have. Uh, you put some money down. You have 36 payments. And at the end of that is a residual payment. And then you have a choice. You have an option. And that's all an option is. It's a choice. You can pay off the property or you can uh, give the keys back. That's all leasing a car is, and that's what we're talking about here. Now, we want the tenant to buy the house. So we do a few things that help the tenant buy. First of all, they get a first look by a licensed mortgage broker, and they say, this is what you got going for you, and this is what we got to work on. And usually the things they have to work on are debt-to-earnings ratio, and the other one is a credit report that needs to be improved and their FICO score needs to be increased and we help them with that and this is why most of our tenant buyers get financing so as a coach and when you're talking as a student to a seller I said our company will help this tenant buyer get financing okay All right. um, what else? It's not very complicated. It's very straightforward. They're going to Here's the steps to a lease option. We are going to present a solution to the seller. The seller is then going to sign a lease and an option with our company, with our LLC company. Once that's done, we have an equitable interest in the property. So, they, now we can market the property. We have permission to market the property. Okay. We put a big sign in the yard. And we put ads on Craigslist. We put bandit signs up on telephone poles. All that stuff. And then we do our sophisticated marketing for tenant buyers. And we find the best one. And they have money to put down in the house. And once that's done, the tenant buyer will sign um, the paperwork in order to be able to enter into our agreement. And we will sell our agreement to them for an assignment fee. And what I call it an option release fee. Uh, the option release fee is actually a stronger way to do this business. So that's the overall with that. Now why do these lease options work? What, what's a good reason for this? You know, they work because it's a huge market for them. And a friend of mine said, hey, uh, upside down wedding cake. An upside down wedding cake. Okay, and what that means is, you know, there's a lot of sellers at the bottom and only a few bank qualified buyers. And that's what a real wedding cake looks like. It's skinny at the top and fat at the bottom. But if you flip it, where it's fat at the bottom and skinny in the bottom, and skinny on the bottom and fat on the top, what that means is there's a lot of buyers for lease option buyers because we attract hundreds and hundreds of lease option buyers through our marketing in our squeeze pages, our websites, all sorts of things. But we have to qualify them, and we qualify them by amount of money down and what kind of income do they have, and what kind of credit problems they have. Okay. So they work because both parties benefit. Um, what's in it for the seller? Um, the seller gets top sales price. They get a quick transaction, 30 to 45 days instead of like six months and a few other benefits. So we'll be going through those benefits. What's in it for the tenant buyer? Let's go through those benefits right now. The price is locked in up front. Uh, that helps them in a rising market like it is right now. 
and they can gain some appreciation. Um, they extremely low down payment. Um, people that a lot of people need five to twenty percent down. We can get them into about three percent down. There's no loan qualification at this time needed. Um, the option consideration is credited 100% to the purchase price and there's no taxes to pay. Most people pay taxes. They have time to get the best possible financing and having enough time is important. So they profit from any appreciation and they have time to work on their credit rating. Very important. And they do need a good coach in order to be able to uh, get that credit rating, that FICO score, up above that mark. And ideally is to get it up above 720. Uh, they can time to check out the neighborhood and the neighbors. What if you had a terrible neighbor right next door? Wouldn't it be nice to know that? And you can't really know that when you shop for houses. Um, do you like the schools? Do you all that stuff? Uh, you can move in very quickly if you're a tenant buyer. Um, you can usually move in within 45 days. You give notice for 30 days and then you give... Um, you, you can move in quickly. And one of the best things about a lease option contract, if you negotiate it well for yourself, is to get a rent credit. And a rent credit is a portion of your rent is credited toward the future purchase price. So you are constantly, if you pay your rent on time, making your purchase price smaller because it's applied toward the purchase price. Now, what is in it for the landlord or the seller? What is in it for them? Well, you got a huge market of buyers. And as long as you qualify them by income and you take a look at their debt to earnings and you take a look at their credit report, if you put somebody in there that wants to buy it, you're going to have a much better person. We call them a homeowner in training. They're not a tenant. There's no management headaches because, you know, there's minimal management. We have our tenant buyers handle minor maintenance up to $100 per occurrence. There's no real estate commissions when you sell. So if you're an owner and you want to uh, save 6 to 7%, you can save a lot of money. On a $200,000 house, that's a lot of money. That's $12,000. You get a higher quality of tenant. That These are people that want to improve the property. They don't care. You know, a lot of tenants, I'm sorry, are, you know, what, what are they, they just don't care about the property. They think you're a rich landlord. Um, because the tenant's going to be a future owner and he's been screened, there's very little concern for damage. Positive cash flow. You're going to receive a monthly cash flow from the tenant buyer rather than having the house sit vacant. How would you like to pay for a vacant house, it's terrible, with a mortgage and a mortgage payment that comes due and paying for an empty house. And the seller has a tax shelter, and this tax shelter is really uh, helping your bottom line on your um, taxes with the IRS. Same benefits that the sellers enjoyed in the past, they still apply. Now you should check with your accountant. But you're turning this house from a residence to an investment property. 